This woman insisted on taking another driver's parking spot. She claimed that the parking spot belongs to her. Take a look at this. Way better. Hey! Oh my god. Oh my Guys, god. oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you being so rude? Did you get her license plate? Yeah, I'm getting her car. I'm getting her car right there. All of her a parking spot. Is that her daughter? Yeah, that is her daughter. That's oh like so God. embarrassing. <laughs> this is crazy. This is dude, crazy. I got. Yeah. Oh, now the daughter's like, dude, what the hell is going oh on? God. Dude, she's such a Karen. Dude, if my mom acted, mom, thank yeah. God you're not like that. Hold on, I'm if I was the driver, I don't think I would give up the spot. I would probably stay in that parking spot for as long as I could in order for Karen not to get it. What about you? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Drama on a train in England between two passengers over space. Take a look at this. You're so used to women being quiet when you're talking. Talk, touch me. You're an idiot. That's why you're not married, you idiot. No one will stand your stupid. Uh, <laughs> are you married? Are you married? Are you sure? Are you yeah, sure? She's yeah. not cheating on you, right? <coughs> no, are you sure? No, because she's a no. really nice Yoruba I'm pretty sure she's nice. She's, she's Yoruba. She's Nigerian, yeah. so she's, she's Nigerian. <coughs> Trust me. She's using the money. No, I don't think she's <laughs> Nigerian. She's Nigerian. Trust me, she doesn't love you. Yeah. I'm Nigerian. <coughs> Wait a minute. Why is her feet near him in the first place? It seems like some people just love drama. Unbelievable. Drama at Walmart between an employee and a customer. Take a look at this. The fact that nobody said or did anything to assist this older guy is messed up. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Wow, this is the first drama at Boston Market. Take a look at this. Have a good day. Mm. Jason from Boston Market. Thank you, my love. Bye, Hannah. I'm gonna call the police now if you don't get out of my restaurant. That's for you. Oh, thank you. I'm sure corporate. I'm sure corporate will love to see I that. I see your finger too, madam. 
You can't yeah. do that fast? Yeah, and it's right. your language too, trash. After the costume of father complaint, the Boston Market team reached out to the customer, told her that they are aware of the situation and they're working to make it right. That is good. Drama at Kate Spade between a customer and an employee over the return policy. Take a look at this. Bring it out here. Yep, here's our return policy. Um, and then if you Let have me see any the questions, book. you can call customer service, but- I didn't call, I didn't call customer service to receive none of these items that came in last night. I want my money. We can't give you a cash refund of that much. Okay. Well, how much is this you gave me so far? Cause you owe me what? And what's your name now? Sky. Sky. Okay. I don't have no address for you, Sky. I don't live here. Right, I'm not shopping here no more, Sky. So, what are you talking about? Okay. It's uh, kind of late. Three twenty-eight. She's telling me I gotta get a corporate check out of nowhere. She comes in here real hostile, about to turn red. Karen. Another Karen. Which one is this, ma'am? This one was the first return that we did. Okay. So this is your first receipt. Okay. Original. Yeah, your original. Yes, it's your original. All right. Just want to make sure I know who I'm getting robbed by. I'm about to call my lawyer. Michael Hayes and Joe Landusky. It's probably too petty for them. Even though the policy seems to be horrible, but on the flip side, legit. I think I'm on the side of the employee on this one because she didn't make the policy. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Take your time to watch this clip and let me know in the comment section if this individual in question is a squatter or she also was scammed. Take a look at this. You need to get out. No, you're, you're f***ed out, dude. You, like, you got scammed. I don't know what to tell you. You're scammed. <laughs> There's no rental agreement on this house. I know for a fact there isn't because I take care of the lady that owns it. So, no, there is no rental agreement. You need to go. Cops are on their way. That's fine. We have a rental Where's agreement. your, okay, call her. Do what you're going to do. Wait for the cops to show up. I don't really care. But there's no gas. There's no water. The neighbors know that nobody lives here and they're not supposed to be anybody well, living here. So you just, y'all didn't have a key for these that were right here? She gave me a key. No, and, and they, they were? The door and she said that supposedly there's been a lot of break-ins into the house and that they were in the property. And you had to break the locks. They were already on there. Cool. I didn't, so, I didn't break the locks. Uh, somebody did. Somebody broke the lock. Y'all busted the locks on the garage. I did not You took that. that down. You took off the door handles. You replaced the door handles with the already out here. Like, no, I'm not dumb. I've been taking care of the property for years. So you need to get out. Okay, but you're yelling at me like I just did something wrong. Because I'm pretty sure you did. This isn't but the first time that I've had to do people. I, okay, but I'm, I'm being like, I'm just saying, like, look. It's cold. Cops are on their way. So call your rental agreement lady. Do it all got to do because it's not valid. No, I need paperwork now. Show me the paperwork. I want to know the owner of the house. I want to know all that. I'm right again. Right.
For those of you that will be wondering if there's a part two to this clip, well, there is none. The only thing is that the owner of the property would have to go and fight this out in court. Who is the Karen on this one? Take a look at this. Holy Karen, I threatened you. You hit me. I've got it all on video, darling. Look at this. This has five minutes of video of everything you've said and I've said. I did not threaten you. You liar. You just told me I just threatened you. You're going to lie for what? what? You, what you, you hit me. What do you want to do now? You hit me. I didn't do anything. I didn't intimidate you. I didn't threaten you. Calm down. You're acting like a crazy lady jumping around. Relax. You're jumping all over the shop. I've done nothing. You hit my hand out the window and you smashed my mirror. I'm so sorry for that. That's called sarcasm. That's what called sarcasm. I want you to mean it. Mean what? See, I'm you did it, man. Oh, Relax. Calm I down. Said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, unfortunately, for my bad luck, I didn't mean to. I said, I am sorry, I didn't mean to. Next time, be a little bit more careful with your driving. Okay, because thank you. if his you, hand was sticking out any much any further you hit my car you hit me you hit you hit me first you this awful car you hit me you hit me excuse me what take a step back i don't feel safe i feel intimidated i'm scared you're gonna hurt me you hit me you hit me you hit on my hand you hit my hand in the mirror you just screamed at me. You're not sorry. What do you want to do? Why are you losing? Just calm down. What do you want to do? You want to call the police? Call the no, police. just calm down. Why are you come after me? You don't have to to my house. I'm going to call the police for you. I'm the one who's going to call the police. You don't have to me. I think the guy is more of a Karen on this one. But that's my opinion. Let me know what is yours in the comment section. You won't believe the reason why this guy and his wife threatened to shut an amusement park down. Take a look at this. Kids going on this ride, or me and you are going out in the parking lot. Right I'm telling you right now, three rides this kid has been denied. Three rides this kid has been denied. This kid is going on this ride, bro. This kid is going on this ride. Listen, you can do it your way or you can do it my way, bro. This kid has been denied. The girl with the mole on her face. You'll see. She is not bad. She's not tall enough. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to make your life miserable right now, bro. Listen, you're messing with the wrong guy, bro. I'm telling you right now. See this kid? My eight-year-old daughter crying? You'll see. You'll get somebody up here. I'm going to shut this down, bro. I'm shutting it down. This kid, I am not going to listen to my eight-year-old cry again. We went to the ride at the bottom, and they she passed the thing. Otherwise, we would have not come out here. Otherwise, you go, you go bro. You go. Take your chances, bro. Take your chances with this guy. You listen, it's your job. I get it. I'm shutting this. Down. No, I, I, went, I went. I went down to the bottom. Who cares? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really? No, 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 no. I went. Listen. No, 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 no. I went to the bottom. Yeah, start video. That guy's behavior was appalling. Did you all notice that it was a stranger that actually asked the kid how she was doing at the end? That was ridiculous. Karen at Alta Beauty Store claims that a fellow customer is talking a neighborhood. Take a look. Please step away from me, please. I'm waiting on the manager. Okay, well, you can wait on the manager over there. No, actually, I can't. You're recording me. Yes, and, you clearly and I said need that. you to step away from me. I'm a paying customer. I'm sorry, you're not. I have no idea what it means. What? Don't talk to me. 
leave her alone. Obviously, she's got some mental issues. Leave her oh, alone. it must be. It must be. Leave her alone. <laughs> That's okay. You're already on the phone with law enforcement. The manager of Ulta is calling law enforcement over here concerning the two of you, and you will not be leaving okay. this store until they get here. Oh, my God. Give me one second. I understand what you're doing. Thank you for doing that concerning these two customers that are basically psycho stalking my neighborhood. What? She obviously has Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you obviously want to go with And you called me racist, didn't you? Well, you wanted to refer my mom as a black woman. You're not going to be so. leaving here. I'm okay. sorry. All right. This is really happening. She just clearly stated that you're going to be putting that on social media. I'm not putting it on social media. I'm just doing it for my protection. Right. This is for my protection, not yours, honey. You're the way she's hurt, Jackie. She's so tall. Leave her alone. She's crazy. I don't know what racism is to you. Look it up. Let's go. So now she's on um, her daughter moving and she moves This is what we're doing. So, this is what we're doing. Yeah. So now you're, now you're are you kidding me right now? This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Can we stop? Can can you like just stop? I don't know what's going on. Can you please stop? This, this has been going for nine minutes. Are you done? Are you done? Please stop. No, I wasn't talking to you. What's happening? What is happening? Do not come to me. Please step away from me. Please step away from me. Please step away from me. I'm minding my own. I need you to back up. Because if you. Because if you get in here. It's your problem. You're psycho stalking me. No one is stalking you, ma'am. No one is stalking you. Dial 911 and remove her. Oh, absolutely not. I'm waiting for law enforcement to get here because of the both of you. Let's go ahead and see what you got concerning your own situation of community, concerning stalking civilians that come in here to do what? Both of you are crazy. So don't sit there and call me racist or whatever that you think that you're going on with your little cell phone. I don't want to hear you. You're talking about the tag off my cart and you're calling somebody else psycho? No. Wow. This media. is getting ridiculous. You clearly as said we that you're putting here. that on social media. You need to call I the need police your general right now. now. I'm not. We just can't move. You're, you're pushing and provoking people. Let's go ahead and see where my address is again. <laughs> I'm the one that requested a manager. Yeah, where, this is happening. Yeah, it must be Wendy Gregerson. Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see how well that you handle things. I'm following you. I'm going out the door, and you're still talking. Ma'am, no one's just going to leave her alone. Don't say anything. Yeah, please, let's go ahead and see what happens. Seriously, though, I do not have this level of self-control. I don't know about you, but let me know what you think about this clip in the comment section.